It's quite a common thing in mixing that you might want the instruments to duck down every time the kick drum strikes, or it might be just the bass guitar that you want to duck every time the kick drum strikes, because that opens out the mix and it makes space for everything to happen in its own way. So here I've got an instrument that I want to duck down. Okay, it's very simple, but it makes the demonstration clearer. And here's the kick drum. Hmm, sounds like a Roland 808 to me. So the normal way to do this would be to take a compression plugin. And it could be, where are we, Dynamics? Just a standard compressor. And you would send the kick drum to the key input or the side chain input. And that's the, the quick way to do it. And that works perfectly well. It could be any compressor that has a side chain input. Uh, but suppose for some reason you don't want to do that. Suppose you want to use a different compressor, which you might well want to do for a different texture. Let's try this one, which is the Waves CLA-2A, which is an emulation of the Teletronics LA-2A hardware compressor. Now, look as you might, you will not see a side chain input in this compressor. And the reason for that is it doesn't have one. So you can't use this technique with this compressor. Is that right? No, it's not right. Let's try something different. So I'll take that out from there. No insert. And what I'm going to do is make a new auxiliary track. And it's got to be stereo. It's going to be an aux input and create. And here I will send the output of the, of the instrument. I'll send it to a bus and it'll be bus one and the output of the kick drum will send it to bus 2. I'm trying to do this slowly, so if you don't use Pro Tools, then it's still going to be easy to follow. You should be able to use this technique or a very similar technique in any digital audio workstation software. It isn't the software that you use that's important. It's the audio techniques that are important. That's the way that I think anyway. So on the AUX input, we will take the input from bus 1 and Two. So now I'm going to make this solo safe so I can use the solo buttons without this, this track being affected. And we can listen to the chord and listen to the kick drum. And we can listen to them both together. But as we can hear, the chord is not ducking yet as we want it to. So what I'll do is insert a compressor into the AUX track and it's going to be the same compressor the Waves CLA-2A, but this time it's going to be in a stereo version. So I'm just going to change the gain slightly uh, so the clip light doesn't come on, hopefully. Not that that makes very much difference to this demonstration, but we like to keep things clean. So now if I play the two tracks together, I can use a bit more peak reduction on that. Maybe that's too much. Okay, so what you'll hear now is that the instrument is ducking down in level every time the kick drum strikes. Just listen again. Okay. It might be a little hard to hear, and you probably wouldn't want it like this anyway. You'd want to be able to mix the instrument separately and you wouldn't want to have it tied to the kick drum like that. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the kick drum. There are a couple of ways you could do this, uh, but the way I'm going to do this is to use this handy trim plugin. And every digital audio workstation software should have a plugin like this because it's so convenient to be able to handle gain as a plugin. So with this one, I'm going to use this button here to unlink the channels and I'm going to make it a operate on the right channel, which is where the kick drum is. And I'm going to take the gain all the way down to minus infinity. So now we'll just hear the instrument without the kick drum. And just to complete that, I'll center it in the stereo image. Here we go. So 
So there we have it. I've side-chained the instrument using a compressor that doesn't have a side-chain input. It's an interesting technique. You might not want to use it every day, but it's there if you do want to use it. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.